American Idol artist Casey and former artist from The Voice, Megan McNeil. I love this. It's like blending my two worlds. I love it. I was so excited to have you both on. But each of you is doing something unique. So Megan, we'll start with you. You were on The Voice like right before I started, yeah. right? Yep. I just missed you. Season 13. Yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's the number today. Lucky number. Yeah. Um, so I think that was the season that Chloe Kohansky won. Mm -hmm. And I'm from Chicago. And so I landed on Jennifer Hudson's team, which yes. was like, I oh, love her. Yeah. I'm obsessed yes. with her. All right. Well, we have a video, actually, of Megan singing on Chicago's L train recently that went viral. Take a look. Baby Bjorn, like, I never looked that cool. <laughs> like, you have your baby wrapped up while you're, like, hitting those notes. That's some big you know, notes on a train, I, <laughs> especially. You know, we, I was like, I, out of all the singing that I've been doing, you know, this video of us on the train <laughs> just kind of, like, chilling, hanging out, um, is the one that's gotten all this attention. But I'm like, it is the most authentic, like, expression of myself. Because I'm like, I'm not taking the stroller on the train. So what happened is, a friend of mine, Avery Young, called me to be a part of this series, the Floating Arts Museum. And Avery, it's like, there's always performers on the platforms in Chicago, but we want to like push the boundaries, take it a step further, and like bring this musical experience to people on the train car. And I'm like, sign me up, I love it. He said, so we're gonna do this series called Soul L, and we're gonna bring the performance right on the train. And I said, well, I'm free that day, Avery, but I'm not getting a sitter, so I'm bringing my little baby with me. <laughs> and instead of like putting the stroller on the train, I just wrapped him in this Moby wrap, and I said, God, come you on, look so cool. Thanks. I'm like, I, I mean, would've tried to do do the same thing and it would have not been I'm that. Sure. <laughs> been great. Oh. It would have been great. Um, but Mason, I sung uh, with him up until about eight and a half months being pregnant with him, so he's used to like all yeah. of the music and everything. <laughs> Didn't you find oh it hard gosh. though? There at the end, like your diaphragm just changes, like the end of pregnancy. Oh, I, my oh not you. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, no, no. I was like, oh, oh yeah. me neither. I've just heard about it. <laughs> I, have na I nailed everything. Yeah, no. Um, no, the end of my pregnancy, I, the, people wanted me to record something, and I was like, <gasps> it's like I couldn't get breath. No, it, was it was horrible. It was, it was pretty awful. Uh, I know, um, I know. Well, what's the goal behind these performances? So the Floating Arts Museum wants to connect people through arts, culture, and music just to do different programming to push those boundaries and to bring people together, yeah. which I was so grateful for because that's the only thing I ever want to use my voice for is to, regardless of class, race, mm -hmm. gender, you know, that's just the thing bring- about music. Exactly. It brings everybody it together. It just is a language that, you know, connects people. And um, so for that to happen in that space was just, you know, a dream. Magical. And it doesn't get more Chicago than like deep house music on the train in, you know. I think that's cool. I think that's gonna become like a tourist attraction. <laughs> you know, People I are gonna be like, wait, have you done this? Cause I'd go. You were on season 13, right? With Jennifer Lopez, she was a judge? Yes. Yeah. And I do have to say, she's shockingly beautiful in person. It's annoying. Almost hard to look at. <laughs> Almost hard to look at. I'm like, what? Uh, I had to do this thing with her, and I was like, <laughs> they were like, we're oh, gonna pretend like your clothes are switched. And I was like, because <laughs> <laughs> we obviously wear the same size. <laughs> Kelly, awesome. we're thanks for pointing it out, jackass. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna talk about confidence and, and yeah. self beauty today. I have so way too much. This. <laughs> Listen, no, never enough, never enough. I do have a ton. No, but you have, it's your You Matter kind of campaign, right? You do the concerts, yeah. You Matter concerts. So, you know, I went on Idol, and it was amazing. It's, it's, it's a huge opportunity for Absolutely. artists. You get this national platform. And as I've been growing the standard artist route, mm -hmm. I've also been doing this other concert that I run in schools. And it's called the You Matter Tour. Mm -hmm. And I have all these songs that I wrote as a kid that were about growing up about being 13, 15, and 17. Mm -hmm. And I just wrote them because I was sad sitting on my bed at 15 years old. Yeah, because teenage years it's stuck. really <laughs> rough. Mm -hmm. And I, now I go to schools and I'm like, yep, it is as bad as I remember it. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but you know, I'm, I'm able to take those songs that I wrote and I go to schools now and I use them as a jumping off point to talk to kids about what they're going through. It's really cool. It's hard. Junior and high school, those were hard, those were rough, awkward years. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that it's also you you connect with people about bullying too. Yeah, you know, so I had my own experiences with bullying. I think 
most everybody does. Mm -hmm. I wrote this song and I played it in like a classroom and I'm very loud so kids kind of formed outside of the classroom. Oh, that's cool. And I went to put my guitar away and this kid who always picked on me and anyone who's been chronically bullied knows that when that person would walk up to you, like the wall goes up and you're like, oh, oh no, what's you're about ready to happen? ready for it. Yeah. And he was like, was that you? Yeah. He was like, that was awesome. And he walked away. Oh, wow. And I realized that the same personality traits that I was being punished for having like in life are the ones that are celebrated on stage. And so when you go and you're so wow. honest with your words and your lyrics, I found that it's always connected me with people and that is holding true in this anti-bullying program. That's really cool, Casey. That's really cool. Did y'all have bullied, were you bullied? Did y'all ever have that crap happen to y'all? Yeah, I was, I was bullied. I've been bullying him this whole time. <laughs> There's like a whole thing whole going on. I love it. Someone's got a crush. <laughs> Uh, it's how we like lick that thing. <laughs> it was sensual, it was. Uh, yeah, I was bullied in like the fourth grade. My, my dad uh, was like, is he smaller than you? And I'm like, I was a small kid, this guy? And, uh, and I'm like, yeah, he's a lot bigger than me. And he's like, then just punch him right in the nose and run away. So You're, I went. That's a southern dad. That's yeah. A, so yeah. yeah, it was a Midwestern dad. Yeah. They're, kind, they're very similar. Yeah. And uh, so I did the next day at school. He came up to me and I was like, ah, kank, and knocked him right in the nose and ran off. And then my aunt now works with the guy. Oh, and last Thanksgiving, she came up to me, Aunt Patty, she came up to me and was like, uh, hey, Adam, can I talk to you for a second? And called me oh, like into another room. She's like, I didn't know you were a bully in Aww. elementary school. And I'm like, what are you, I'm not a bully. And she goes, do you remember Brian? And I'm like, Brian was my bully. Wait a minute, you can't turn that around. Yeah, he was my bully. Oh my He's taking God. my bully in and twisting it around he, on him. He took your childhood from you. Yeah, he's, he's taking <laughs> my bullying. Right up. We have a message from a student in Boston though that Casey connected with. Take a look. Hi Kelly, I'm Samantha Madigan. I'm so thankful to have been given this opportunity to thank Casey McLuhan for all that she's done for me. She made me feel like even though I was different than everyone else at my school, I wasn't alone. Just because I like performing arts and everyone at my school play a sport, she showed me that there are others like me. Casey is a true inspiration. Her message showed me that if you love something, keep going no matter what anyone else says. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not gonna stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.